Welcome to Kentucky Collectibles. What have you brought in here for us today? I brought a, uh, some information on my wife's great-great-grandfather who was in the Civil War. And where was he from? He was born in Augusta, Kentucky, and he lived his life in Maysville, Kentucky. Boy, those are two great river towns in Kentucky. Thank you. And he was in the Union? He was in the Union side, and uh, he enlisted twice. His first term was short, and he re-enlisted. And I think he spent four or five years in there till the end of the war, and evidently was uh, captured and was in Andersonville Prison and released there. I see. Well, it, uh, he joined the 4th Kentucky Mounted Infantry, and they actually formed over in, in Cincinnati here. And that was done because Kentucky was neutral in 61. So he jo joined one of the earliest regiments with the single digits, the 4th. And the 4th Kentucky uh, Mounted Infantry, was, was, they rode horses. They weren't cavalry because they dismounted and fought. But they fought at every battle of the Western Theater. Mm -hmm. Shiloh, Murfreesboro, Perryville, Tullahoma campaign, and all the way to the Battle of Atlanta. Now, you said that uh, uh, he was at Andersonville. Yes, sir. Okay, he got captured during the Battle of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And they sent him to Andersonville, which Andersonville was the, the hard place to be if he got captured. And, and the death rate there was just incredible. And uh, how old was he when he joined? He was 16 years old. 16 years old. Yes, sir. Uh, I see. So he was 19 when he was at Andersonville. And a footnote to Andersonville, that was the only Confederate officer after the war that actually hung, the commander of uh, Andersonville Prison. And then uh, he got out in 65. After he got out of prison, they immediately paroled him and sent him home. Now, how long did he live? He lived to be 83 years old. 83 years old? Yes, sir. I see. And so he got, I'm sure he got to make all the reunions of the Grand Army of the Republic and all the different organizations that uh, they had in, uh, in, in the after-war years. And what you have here, uh, we'll talk here real quick, you have a tin type of him and you had a professional photographer blow it up, which I think did a, a fabulous job, in a custom-made uniform. That's a, that's a custom-made uniform with the piping around his collar. We have his first discharge when he was with the 4th Kentucky Mountain Infantry, and then when it expired, he re-upped in 64 to the 40th Kentucky, and that's where he got captured down there at the Battle of Atlanta. But this is some, some this fabulous Kentucky history, and of course, we want to mention this one document. I don't want to skip that. That is a, a, a document where it shows that he got his pension after the war. And so, you know, uh, he was a, a great soldier, great patriot, and also from the great state of Kentucky. Yeah. So, you know, I, I appreciate you bringing it in. Now I'm going to tell you what it's worth. It's worth $3,500. Oh, that's wonderful. <laughs> so so I, I just think it's fabulous, and, yeah. and it's a great piece of Kentucky history. Yeah. And thank you for bringing it in. I thank you.